Hello ladies and gentlemen, this will be a short highlight video about the recent world first blindfolded 120 star completion by me. I'll go over the entire run in terms of splits and highlights and try to commentate over it in order to explain my thought process during these sections and cover eventual explanations for mistakes. <laughs> Should <I> reset? <laughs> In the beginning, we first go to BOB and get the first 3 stars, nothing too special yet. We need to split BOB into two parts, as we need the wing cap for later stars like 100 coins, but that wing cap only spawns from 10 stars on. That's Oops. why we instantly move on to CCM. CCM will be the first stage in the run that we fully clear. We start with the infamous penguin skip. Unfortunately, it took me around a total of 5 tries until I finally got it. It is a frame-perfect input to delay the start of the race towards the end of the slide, so a few retries here are definitely expected. The rest of CCM is also included in 70 star, besides the 100 coin star. That one is actually one of the easier ones, thanks to a new strategy for the slide that was found very recently. After the shortcutted slide, we have just enough coins to reach 100 with all the overworld coins. And with that, we also got our first, first try 100 coin star. One. 100 is down, dude. Next up is the Dark World Red Coin star. Fortunately, it is a quite easy star in Blindfolded. In the beginning, we cheese a red coin with a cool ledge wrap strat that gives us just enough distance to still reach the hitbox of the coin. The later reds require a global music cue, as the platforms are bound to cycles that I need to keep track of. The rest of the stage is then relatively easy. The next stage clear is Womb's Fortress. Again a stage that is in 70 star with 5 out of 7 stars. We first tackle the infamous Cannonless, and succeed in it first try. Next, there is the 100 coin plus red coin star. In 100 coins, I had a first very unfortunate death with 53 coins. I fell down after a mistimed slide kick and God. messed up the backup, which led me to jumping off the stage. The second attempt went much smoother though, and I managed to get both stars with relative ease. Worms Fortress has a lot of coins, so this star is very forgiving in terms of RNG. After Worms Fortress, we quickly get both secret slide stars and finally activate the wing cap switch. Why did I do that? In the revisit of BOB, we tackle the first really challenging star of the run, BOB 100 coins. It involves multiple rounds of normalizing at the sign in the beginning of the stage and going back up to the island in order to collect the coins from the air. For that, we use very precise beat counts. And here is also the very first crazy backup of the run. During the first flight, I did not manage to collect all 5 secrets as I was supposed to. That's why on the second round, the cutscene starts to play in the middle of my beat count. This of course messes up my timing on when to ground pound for the next 3 coins. But luckily enough, I perfectly substituted the cutscene waiting time in my head and managed to perfectly ground pound the coins, kind of by feeling. I got it! What the f***? How did I hit that? After grabbing more coins throughout the stage, I ended up at the pole section, which is very random. Unfortunately, my RNG was only decent, so I had to still go out of my way and farm some lone coins from Goombas at the end. Mm, 3 is not very good. And very luckily, the very last backup Goomba that I had available gave me the 100th coin Inch. and with that the star. After BOB, I moved on to the arguably hardest star of the entire run, LLL 100. Okay. I steeled my mind, expecting to grind the star alone for one or two hours, okay. or even more. Then, I started the first attempt. First, I cleared the red coin section in time to get the coins from the puzzle completion. Then comes the blue coin RNG from the eyeball. It is around a 50% chance to reset the star here because the coin just flies away. Coins under the bridge. Perfect. Bully platform number one, with the new dodge strat that avoids fighting the bullies. Flawless. Box jump to the second bully platform, and this one is the incredibly much harder one. 
somehow survive. Next, I had to get 8 coins from the eyeball area with an incredibly precise movement. <sighs> Nailed it. Then, the scary big bully fight. Also, absolutely no problem. <sighs> With that, we slowly went into the volcano, and this is the point where things went really wrong really fast. This particular bully here is supposed to die with this setup I perform here, but instead I hit a very unfortunate what? frame in which he sticks out the most from the platform and hits me instead. This no, is no, 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 incredibly no. rare, I would say a 1 in 30 chance. Oh this confuses me quite a lot and I start thinking what the hell just happened and how can I possibly relocate myself now? I return to the corner and redo my setup, but I get instantly hit by the bully again. The f*** is going on? And that is where I get really confused, because in theory that should only happen if I get knocked onto the upper platform where the bully also resides. In reality though, the Jesus. bully fell down onto the lower platform and blocked the position I need to take for my setup. The only possible thing I could imagine is that I'm in fact on the upper platform and the bully just targets me when I'm not exactly in the corner. The problem was that I did not know how many coins I can skip at this point, and there are two coins on the platform that I normally should get. But when I decide to just skip them, I hear the fake wall crushing down and immediately okay, realize okay, my position okay, I see, again. I see. So. I went back, grabbed at least one of the two coins, and proceeded my way into victory, as I perfectly spawned the 100 coin star on the next coin roll. Get me out of here, first try, dude! Oh my god! First try LLL hundreds! That was a first try LLL oh, hundred coins. Something we'll probably not see anymore for a very, very long time. After LLL, I tackle HMC. Here are Too again easy. quite a lot of easy stars, Too and then a very it. difficult HMC 100 coins plus reds. HMC 100 features probably the hardest blue coin switch in the entire game. It involves a very particular camera setup, and then a very specific pseudo beat count with pause buffers to avoid the mole. But no problem for me, dude! After that, I grab all the red coins with the new 100% lock cam setup and proceed into the basement with the elevator clip, in order to grab the last few coins. And here comes probably the craziest backup in the entire run. I accidentally miscounted one beat and land way further on the platform than I should. The good thing is that I instantly noticed my mistake and its influence on my positioning. Knowing what went wrong, I could at least attempt to fix my position. The problem, during the repositioning, I accidentally slide down into the water. Okay, this is very and bad. From here on, it gets really messy. I did not want to reset at this point because I yeah, knew that I should already be very close to 100 coins. I usually spawn it in the next room from here on. But I never failed in this way and I had to completely improvise. In my head, I thought I can maybe swim to the edge of the water and then reposition my camera along the wall, basically like I do in DDD. So I can potentially run in a circle until I reach the part that is open. What I did not know is that you actually cannot stand on the seam between wall and water. It was incredibly lucky that I somehow ended up at the platform with the switch and then just performed my plan from there on. I go into see up mode, turn a bit to the left, Lock the camera and just start running straight forward. I found I found the way. Wait a second, dude. This is I think the correct way here. I think we're on. I still cannot believe that this actually worked and that I then so easily found the elevator again. Okay. 
After Sounds that, good. my camera and position was obviously completely wrong for the next room. But I just had to scan along the walls I until I found the scary. door, I and that's it. Die. Yes, dude! Let's go! First try HMC 100 with an amazing backup. During Metal Cap Brats, I encountered a very rare camera bug that I have never seen before at the very end before the very last few coins. Usually, the camera should stay locked in place and align me with the next underwater coins, but for some reason it decided what? not to. In the second attempt, it worked as planned though. We then get to the Vanish Cap star and, of course, Are we try the stylish Siglemic trick. Are you actually ready? Like, for real, real ready? Because I'm not, apparently. <laughs> Without any success, unfortunately. Next up was BBH, a very easy stage for once in the midst of the craziness that is Basement. The only interesting star is probably 100 coins, which I combine with Merry Go Round, but even that is mostly just an extended red coin route with some more coins here and there. Interesting was this particular backup of the roof star. I missed the long jump onto the roof and just improvised with some kicks and the jump and perfectly managed to catch the star. How did I back this up, dude? Oh my god! It might not look very special, but that was peak blindfolded backupping. Then we start the overall hardest stage in the entire run, DDD. Same as BOB, we need to split the stage into two parts due to Firesea removing the submarine from the main area. First, we only get the cap and the submarine star. Firesea Rats is the hardest out of the three Bowser stages, as it involves very tight music cycles to catch the platforms and to cross the lava field on the upper floor. After some failed lava boost attempts, I finally get onto the elevator, catch the next platform cycle and then nail the rest of the stage too. And that is when the real pain that is DDD Manta Ray begins. It is an incredibly precise star combined with broken hitboxes of the rings that you need to swim through. At first, I miscounted my angle quite a few times, and every retry means dying and re-entering. It took me around a total of 2 game overs, around 25 tries and a total of 15 minutes to finally get safely through the rings and collect the star. Well. Yes! There is no time to breathe though, as DDD Chests is also an incredibly precise star. It involves some crazy tech with normalizing on the seam between water and the walls with neutral slope jump dives and very calculated camera manipulation. This star alone took me another 10 minutes. Yes! Yeah! Okay. And then the probably second or third hardest star of the run, DDD 100 comes up. During this star, you need to collect almost every single coin off the stage. You have a total of 5 coins that you are allowed to miss. And unfortunately, I missed quite a lot right in the beginning. That's why I had to pause for a second and count every single coin in the stage. Because I was not sure anymore if it was 4 or 5 coins that you can miss. 90, 90 and then 16 reds is 106. Minus 100, I can miss 5 coins, I'm good, I can I can piece out of here. After confirming that, there was the infamous pole RNG, since the pole cycles only aligned 2 out of 3 times for a safe re-grab. I got really unlucky twice in a row and fell down, but after some more backups it worked out too. The rest of the coins went very smoothly. Yet another first try completion of an extremely hard star. Then, things went downhill quite a bit. During SSL 100, which is also in the top 5 hardest stars, I had a very good first attempt, but then it died due to a very unfortunate controller notch mistake right before entering the pyramid. The controller did not input straight to the left, so my position after the crazy box was off. Fuck. 
After that, it took me around 40 more minutes to finally get the star. Since we pair SSL 100 together with secrets, I still had to grab the SSL red star separately. For that, I had a new strategy for the second to last red coin, but unfortunately, the strategy did not quite work out as planned. Maybe I can fix this, dude. Because of that, I had to do a 300 IQ backup all the way back to the pyramid while grabbing the coin, then reset my stored flying angle at the oasis, and then take another backup route with the cannon to the star spawn location. Yes! Okay. I will never want to do this in my life again. Oh my god, I was completely in the wrong position! Next was Wet Dry World. This stage is actually considered one of the easier ones, but due to the Tunnel of Doom, a section during 100 coins in which we have to perfectly do an angle change underwater and swim through to the downtown area, I died a couple of times with 75 or more coins. The rest of the stage went quite smooth, with the exception of some minor mistakes. Then comes THI, a stage that contains many, many horrible stars. First of all, 100 coins is heavily random due to the positioning of the big Goombas in the stage. I managed just fine with the recent reroute that pairs this star with the Wiggler and takes a bit of a longer route around the island for some more safety coins. It all worked out rather well. Another first try 100 coin star. GG! GG! Then, there was still the one and only Cooper the Quick rematch. This star was the reason I had given up the second run attempt at 102 stars after 11 hours of gameplay. This time, it all seemed hopeless again. As in the first attempt, RNG struck me and a Goomba blocked away before I could even attempt my beat count. The second attempt though went much better. We got safely past the RNG Goombas and not a single RNG ball hit us. Just as practice, we grabbed the star after only two attempts. As a fun fact, I was told that, without the stage entry times, in which I once or twice got lost and had to reset, this one actually beat the current THI stage RTA world record. Pretty cool if you ask me. TTM was up next, and once again I had an amazing 100 coin star. TTM has a special feature in which you can respawn inside the slide after you make it once there. This is very useful for 100 coins, since the majority of coins, as well as the hardest part of the star, lies within the slide. The first slide attempt unfortunately failed because it's extremely precise to count. It sounded strange, yeah. <laughs> the second attempt though made it out of the slide in one piece, then proceeded swiftly to the crazy box. <laughs> the mushrooms of death. In fact, everything until the climb went very smoothly. Then, there was I believe the first and only big memory loss mistake in the entire run. I just for the life of me could not remember how the geometry and the setup for this climb was. Left in the dark, I tried some backup ideas and somehow, with more luck than reason, I made it back to my original route. From there on, it was only seconds until I managed to finally grab the star. Yes! And with that, we have also already reached SL. In practice, SL100 was never that much of an issue, but during this run, it just absolutely destroyed me. For reference, this is the most RNG heavy star in the entire run, as you collect most of the coins needed from enemies that drop the coins kind of randomly. I had two brutal deaths with 78 and 97 coins. After an entire hour and 5 minutes of attempts, I finally grabbed the 100 coin star in the stage. Unfortunately, I missed this shell red coin, which you only have one try to grab, so I still needed to spend another 15 minutes to redo the red coin star separately. Oh, that was, that was a nightmare, dude! The last part of the run was approaching, and with that, the infamous Mario wings over the rainbow stage. People always ask me how this star is possible blindfolded. And well, the answer is extremely precise beat counting, especially for the final red coin. After one little mishappening in the beginning, before even getting an attempt going, 
I nailed all the precise flight beat counts, successfully pulled off the new lock cam strats which allow for a much easier re-entering of the cannon, and then proceed to the last flight, which is equivalent to a 1-2 frame trick, as the angle changes that you have to perform are so incredibly precise. And with that, I got yet again one of the hardest stars in the game, basically first try. Yes! <laughs> Rainbow Ride featured some highlights like a perfect Bubsia cycle. A second try carpet ride, which is by the way the longest beat count in the entire run, featuring a beat sequence of approximately 130 beats, and decent other stars as well. 100 coins gave me some trouble in both RNG, like the lucky two only dropping one coin onto me, one, and own mistakes, like missing the wall kicks for the blue coins once. Okay, Mr. Wall Kick, I'm a Moron, dude. But besides that, they went through quite smoothly. Here we go. The final stage in TP, TTC, also went quite well besides the 100 coin star. I don't know if it was because of tiredness or yet again an instant of the so-called yap clock, but I started to have a little meltdown during 100 coins because of bongs I have never experienced before, camera angles that should not happen like that and many many more silly mistakes. After a short while and the incredibly scary jump of life and death with 94 coins, I managed to grab the 100 coin star safely though and combine it instantly with the thwomp star as well. Now, I got asked quite often why I went to bits to get the red coin star right after TTC, even though I still have some other stars left. The answer is that I need to check if I really have 120 stars with the open cannon in the courtyard, because it already happened quite often that I randomly forgot one star during one of my runs. And for that, you have to get bits reds anyways and quit out. After some initial trouble with misremembering an audio cue for the elevators, I also managed to grab that star without big problems. Let's go! From here on, we only had 9 stars left. The secret aquarium was one of them. How we get this star blindfolded is basically a precise angle turn in the beginning, and then beat counting our way to get the first 4 red coins in one go. The remaining 4 reds can actually be normalized with holding the upright notch from the corners. This start took me around 10 retries. Yes! Yes! With that, I entered the last stage, JRV. And wow, it was an amazing completion of this stage. First of all, I managed to open all the chests inside the ship first try, which is incredibly difficult and one of the hardest swimming sections in the entire run. Let's go! <laughs> then, after grabbing some easier stars like the jet stream and the chest in the cave, I tried a new strategy for the eel star, which I have only routed a few days prior to the run. New eel strat is so good, so good dude. And it worked beautifully like a charm. So clean, so consistent, love it dude. Also, the pretty inconsistent MLG 360 no scope cannon shot Amazing. to the pillar first worked try. first try. And then 100 coins plus reds came up. And while quite slow, I managed to get coin by coin back up some crazy swimming mistakes and get closer to the 100 and then finally spawning the star and grabbing it. In fact, I somehow managed to collect every single coin in the entire stage, not a single miss. With 119 stars, we entered the dreaded wing cap reds, the hardest star in the entire game. I prepared mentally and began my first attempt.
Jesus, that was so close! Incredibly close. By some kind of universal luck and skill boost, I somehow was incredibly good at flying that day. Attempt after attempt was incredibly close to grab the hard red coins number 5 and 6. And then, after only 7 attempts and a total of 18 minutes of gameplay, I managed to grab all 6 red coins in the air and land safely on the platform. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. 100% I got him. For reference, the start took around 1 hour and 20 minutes alone in the first run attempt. And during my practice run with safe states, it took me almost an hour too. All that was left is to set up oh my God, position please. on the switch now and fly to the last two remaining coins. But... No! 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 Oh my god, I'm a moron! And exactly that moment, I made a horrible mistake. I accidentally triple jumped and started a flight sequence instead of grabbing the button for normalization. I noticed it instantly and ground pounded to save my position, but the real issue was that every flight sequence overrides your stored flying angle, and I have only ever tested this strat with the stored angle from after the 6th strat coin. With no other choice but to just go for it, I renormalized by refinding the box, set myself up again, and start the flight. Probably. Magically, it still worked, even with the wrongly stored angle. I landed just in front of the star, due to an early beat count and the nerves, but of course I had a normalization backup in my sleeve. And after some more slow walking, the moment finally came. The world's first collection of all 120 stars while blindfolded. Yes! Dude! <laughs> oh my god! To confirm that I actually have all the stars in my route, I had to now reset my console and check if the cannon in the courtyard is open. We got 120! Let's go! <laughs> we did it, dude! As I ledge grabbed the cannon, a wave of relief from all the worries, all the physical and mental exhaustion came over me, and with newly found strength I entered the final boss stage once and for all. But then, just as I was about to speed through the stage, this one Guma just said, nope. <laughs> and knocked me down again from the very top. Thanks to some buggy okay. collision though, I somehow managed to still land on the upper platform before the elevators. Unfortunately, I only know a very few certain music cues for the cycles of that elevator, but not all hope was lost. For the fans? For the fans? <laughs> what? The legendary elevator skip done live in the world's first blindfolded 120 star run. All that was left after that was the last Bowser fight. <laughs> this fight is very infamous for its last blindfolded throw, which is basically frame perfect. I get the first hit without problem, and also the second one comes flawlessly. Following my audio setup, I successfully grab Bowser's tail, and then I start spinning. The rest ladies and gentlemen, is history. Boom! <laughs> Give me that damn star, dude! <laughs> Hey, if you like this video, please consider supporting me over at Patreon. I have many cool perks about blindfolded gaming that you might be interested in. This video was sponsored by VR4300, Zeke's Many, Funky Dishes, Boris, Bob Farrell, Ben Litz, Nex, and many more. Thank you so much for all the support.